Hey guys, what's up? It's Inez TV. Today we're going to be talking about Burn Me Down, the title track of the album. But before we get into that, there's a lot going on in the media right now. I just wanted to say a few words about uh, the conflict in the Elsie Book Nation uh, near Rexton, New Brunswick. Those people out there are actively protesting against the testing in the area for shale gas, which is basically fracking. <clears throat> um, a lot of people have been seeing on the news that there's been violence and guns and knives and all these things have been apprehended from some of the locals and that the military and the RCMP have been brought in. They've had snipers. So unfortunately, it's too bad that things started to turn violent. I don't agree that protests should be violent in any way. <clears throat> and I hope that um, we can continue to uh, protest the testing for fracking in that area without violence uh, happening in the future. So I just want to send some support out to those people out there and Elsie Booktook that we support you and your protest against the testing for fracking in that area, hoping that that doesn't happen there, here, or anywhere in the world because it's so dangerous, causes a lot of pollution, uh, causes a lot of pollution in water. So if you don't know about fracking, I suggest you look it up. One of my girlfriends just finished a song as well that she posted. Her name's Carolyn Victor. It's available on SoundCloud. It's called Water War. Really um, great protest song about um, the risks of fracking and how water will become very polluted. Anyways, that's what I just wanted to say about what's going on back east. Uh, I know sometimes media can be skewed and it doesn't, sometimes it doesn't accurately report what's going on. So I just wanted to speak to that current event that's going on right now in the world. But the Burn Me Down song, I wanted to provide a little bit of insight to the fans about that song. On the surface, I think that song is obviously about love. Uh, burn Me Down, it's like you've waited so long to find that special someone that you trust, that you can be yourself around. And uh, it can be someone that you love, like an intimate partner, or it could be the other people who are involved in your life intimately, like family, friends. It's nice to get to a point with someone where you can really trust them, spend time with them. They get you, you get them, and uh, share passion for life. And so that's what that song's about. But another layer of that song that is really personal to me is that uh, I've been singing and performing for a long, long time, even since I was a little girl, traditional music and um, cross-cultural performances and whatnot. And I love singing and performing. It's what makes me tick. But that song, after I listened to it, I was like, wow, this song is about my love for music and my love for singing. Because when, when I started singing and people started finding out that I could sing, I would get asked to sing at weddings. So, for example, this past weekend, I sang at my cousin's wedding. Timmy and Gracie, big congrats out to those guys. I sang for them. I've also been asked to sing for many a funeral and I was always really confused and even saddened at first when I would sing at a funeral and people would cry, They'd just break down and cry and didn't really realize at the time that the power of music and song can really move people emotionally. And it wasn't really until I had traveled to, uh, on a cross-cultural trip to Hong Kong and Taiwan, I was so homesick, I was so lonely. I remember in the middle of the night, I went up to a floor where they were in the middle of renovations and the floors were marble and there was nothing in there. So it's really live, really good acoustics. And I just closed my eyes and I sang as loud as I could. And I felt better. I felt better. I just sang, what did I sing? Gospel song, I think. But it was at that moment that I realized, wow, music gets me through really tough times. Not just listening to music, but singing. I love to sing and perform. It's at the root of my heart and soul. And so that's what that song means to me personally, that uh, music is such an important integral part of my life, and so is performing. And it's my hope and dream, and now plan to do it for the rest of my life, share music with everybody so there's a little bit of insight about Burn Me Down. There's also a music video for that song, so please visit my website, www.inezjasper.com. 
Uh, it's directed by Lenny Len as well. For those of you who are into the songwriting, uh, it was co-written by myself as well as Stephen Anthony from SA Trackworks and also uh, Jolene Bell, who's based out of LA. Big shout out to Jolene for helping us on that track. You're awesome, Jolene. Thanks so much. So thanks, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Tomorrow we're going to be talking about a new track. I'll post it later on. As well, if you want to follow me on Twitter at Inez Jasper or Instagram Inez Jasper or like my page, share it up, facebook.com slash Inez Jasper. Thanks for tuning in, guys, and I'll talk to you tomorrow.